So a disappointing end to what looked like a great second half. Anything you have to say on the match today? Yeah, I think we've, you know, in all due respect to City Liverpool, I think we beat ourselves today. Um, I thought we started the game really well, first 15, 20, um, but just couldn't, couldn't, you know, stamp our authority on it in terms of um, how we wanted to play. Um, I felt we were really comfortable, but we just kept going long for some um, strange reason, but long with no quality, and then we allowed them to build up and, and get themselves in back, you know, back into the game, if you like, and then they scored a goal, and then we just just had a mad uh, 10 minutes, I think it was 10-15 minutes where we just capitulated and you know when you go when you uh, against any side at this level you go in at half time 3 nil down then you know you're asking for you're asking for a minor miracle really but we said in there at half time you know we still believed there was something in the game for us um, and all credit to that to, you know, to the lads that put you know they, they put a shift in the second half and then they really they really turned up but you know football's about 90 minutes and not 45 and that's what um, that's what's on bonus today. Obviously, this is the first of what is going to be a back-to-back -back game versus uh, versus City of Liverpool. Looking at their performance today, is there anything that maybe could be improved on for next week? Yeah, I mean, there's loads we can improve on. I mean, listen, City of Liverpool are a good side. They get it down and they move it well. You know, the gaffer's top dry. I had a good chat with him before the game, and and I sincerely wish him and him and his team all all the very best. You know, it's, it's a really nice. Um, but in, in terms of us, yeah, we, we'll, we'll go away and we'll, we'll work on a lot of things on Thursday. Obviously, we've got a game on Tuesday, which we'll which we'll prepare for. Um, but yeah, we just we just want to we just want to stick to our identity, and the lads have to recognise and know that you know when 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 we need to win to Tommy B's feet and, and build up from him, and when we need to you know to get it out wide and then get crossed in the box and, 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 and not just go long hopelessly, and, and you know we. we we let ourselves down badly today, and, and, and I'm really, really disappointed in it because I felt like it could have been, a, you know, a real opportunity to, to put a big three points, a big three points on the board, which we which sadly we've missed. Uh, speaking of Tom Bentham, it's his first game back since uh, since his uh, two-week injury. How's he looking on the pitch? Yeah, he did. listen, Tom's, you know, he's a, he's a big, big player for us. I think he was frustrated for large parts today, um, and you can see it in, in some of his, you know, some of his. Um, his, his moments within the game, but that's his first game back after probably about three or four weeks. Um, you know, he's only going to get better. Um, you know, he, he, he's obviously still top of, the, top of the top of the pile in terms of goals, so it tells you all about his quality. But yeah, there's, there's loads more to come from Tom, and, and he could have loads more to come from, from, from us and the rest of the team. Well, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Yeah.